When it comes to understanding the human brain, scientists say it's all a matter of connections. How billions of neurons talk to each other to create the reason, memory, and emotions that make each of us distinct. Now, researchers at dozens of universities in the U.S. and Europe are making a science of those connections for the first time by creating a sort of wiring diagram of thought. The physical circuitry of the average brain contains about 100 billion neurons, as many cells as stars in the Milky Way, linked by 150 trillion or so connecting synapses. Scientists call it all the connectome. By traditional means, it can take one researcher years to trace the 10,000 or so synapses that branch from just a single neuron. But new techniques, including advances in brain scans that can analyze neural connections 50 times faster, are now helping to reveal the hidden anatomy of brain wiring. For the Human Connectome Project, funded by the National Institutes of Health, researchers at 11 institutions are mapping the largest conduits between brain regions by combining four imaging technologies, including a new method called diffusion magnetic resonance imaging that allows researchers for the first time to accurately map the white matter of nerve fibers. The researchers hope to shed light on the variability in brain connections between individuals and then relate those to the differences in behavior that make each of us unique. They hope for insights into autism, schizophrenia, and other diseases that may stem from the breakdown of these critical connections. At the Allen Institute for Brain Science in Seattle, researchers are putting the finishing touches on a human brain atlas that offers the first interactive guide to the anatomy and genes that shape the mind. In November, the Allen Institute released a three-dimensional high-resolution map of neural connections in the mouse brain. thanks to new efforts to pull such research into a single public connection. Scientists are beginning to map the universal architecture of brain connections underlying most day-to-day -day neural activity. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm science writer Robert Lee Holtz.